তোমার কাছে আমার একটা অনুরোধ রইল যেদিন তোমরা যদি সন্দেহ করো যে আমার ভালোবাসার মধ্যে কোনো কৃপণতা আছে সেদিন আমি বলে দিও আমি কোনদিন তোমাদের বিদায় নিয়ে যাব আমি সব ত্যাগ করতে পারি তোমাদের ভালোবাসা আমি ত্যাগ করতে পারি না This month, Bangladeshis will be celebrating something momentous in the history of their nation. The centenary of the birth of her great leader, Bangabandhu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, without whose sacrifice the Bengali nation wouldn't be enjoying the freedom that it enjoys today. The time is apt, therefore, to reflect on the legacy of a man who made possible the very idea of Bangladesh. Bearing the burden of answering a nation's yearning for its right to self-determination, Bangabandhu acted with immense courage throughout his life and at great personal sacrifice. As the father of Bangladesh, Bangabandhu's role is without equivalent in history. Not fewer than 20 times was he arrested by the then incumbent regime of Pakistan for his outspoken opposition to its oppressive measures in East Bengal. from campaigning in the language movement fighting for a people's right to speak its own language in the 1950s to getting arrested for treason the punishment carrying the death penalty following his historic speech of 7th march 1971 he was unrelenting in his efforts as a political activist to help the bengali nation realize its dream of independence saat koti manush ke taba rakhte parbo na আমরা যখন মরতে শিখেছি তখন কেউ আমাদের দোবাতে পারবে না তোমাদের যা কিছু আছে তাই নিয়ে প্রস্তুত থাকো মনে রাখে বা রক্ত যখন দিয়েছি রক্ত আরও দেব এই দেশের মানুষকে মুক্ত করে ছাড়ব ইনশাল্লাহ এবারে সংগ্রাম আমাদের মুক্তির সংগ্রাম এবারে সংগ্রাম স্বাধীনতার সংগ্রাম Bangabandhu was a social justice warrior. He protested against the food crisis in East Bengal in the late 1940s, which saw him have run-ins with authority and going to jail a number of times. He championed a vision for an inclusive Bangladesh, a country for everyone, irrespective of caste or creed, and enshrining this very principle in the constitution of Bangladesh. He was a flexible leader, a moderate voice, seeking the path of peace, inclined to act with kindness to what was superior opposition, the then incumbent oppressive regime of Pakistan. Bearing testament to such traits is a speech of 7th March in which he asked the army of undivided Pakistan not to cause bloodshed in East Bengal. Bangabandhu was a visionary. He spent considerable effort over his lifetime in building up the Awami League into a strong organization which would be capable of ruling effectively long after he was gone. From what Bangabandhu inherited, an economy of 8 billion dollars in 1972 with non-existent foreign reserves, today under his daughter's leadership, the honorable prime minister Sheikh Hasina, the country has gone from strength to strength. Bangladesh is boasting foreign reserves in the region of 32 billion dollars. Not only is it one of the fastest growing economies in the world, it is also aspiring to achieve an upper middle economy status by 2031 and a developed economy status by 2041. HSBC in a recent study has concluded that Bangladesh is set to become the 26th largest economy in the world by 2030. Bangladesh has made enormous strides by finding new markets for its exports and attracting large numbers of foreign investors. It is also investing in a number of modernization projects. Since 2009, Bangladesh's economy has grown 188%. In 2019, Bangladesh was on track to post record high annual GDP growth of 8.1%, up from 7.9% in 2018. By comparison, her South Asian neighbors have suffered significant dips in GDP growth in recent years. Exports have also increased and diversified. Bangladesh's exports grew by 4.5% in 2018 and by 10.1% in 2019. In addition, Bangladesh is now the fourth largest rice producer, the second largest jute producer, the fourth largest mango producer. 
the fifth largest vegetable producer and the fourth largest inland fish producer in the world. On top of that, and surprisingly, Bangladesh also exported 12 industrial robots to South Korea and four ships to India. Ingenuity, adaptation and modernization have allowed Bangladesh to compete in the global marketplace. The garment industry remains Bangladesh's economic backbone and it too is booming thanks to rising demand for Bangladeshi garments in the United States and newer markets in Australia, Canada, India and China, Bangladeshi garments exports rose 2.7% in 2018 and 11.5% from the year before. Hans Timmer, World Bank Chief Economist for the South Asia region, said, In general, what we see in high-frequency data is that Bangladesh is doing better than the rest of the region. We see that in industrial production, we see that in exports. Bangladesh is also harnessing the power and productivity of its youthful workforce. Bangladesh's educational system produces more than 500,000 university graduates every year, and more than 65,000 of the graduates receive training in information technology enabled services. These graduates are not, however, entering the same job market their parents did. Bangladesh was long a largely rural and agricultural country. Today, young professionals are increasingly urban and digitally savvy. To facilitate this transition, Bangladesh has developed more than 8,000 digital centers across the country to help provide various digital services to its citizens. It has also expanded internet and mobile coverage. More than 110 million Bangladeshis, or two-thirds of the population, have access to the internet. As part of its Power System Master Plan, PSMP 2016, the government is implementing 10 mega projects of about 15,000 megawatts of capacity by 2030. The government has already initiated a move to implement the plan as per its vision to raise electricity production to 40,000 megawatts by 2030 and 60,000 megawatts by 2041. Implementation of three of nine of these projects under the Power and Energy Ministry have already started, while the Ministry of Science and Technology has started the first phase of 2,400 megawatts of the 4,000 megawatts nuclear power. In addition, there are 1,320 megawatts Moitri super thermal power project being undertaken by Bangladesh India joint venture in Rampal. 1,200 megawatts Matarbari coal-based power plant of Coal Power General Company Bangladesh Limited in Cox's Bazaar being financed by Jika with a target implementation time of 2021 and the 1,320 megawatt Pyra coal-based power plant being undertaken by Bangladesh China joint venture. The remaining seven mega projects are the 1,320 megawatt Bekua power plant of EGCB Mitsoi joint venture, PDB's 1,200 megawatt Moheshkali coal-fired power, 1,320 megawatts Moheshkali coal-fired power plant, 1,320 megawatts Ashugon's power plant, 1,200 megawatts coal-fired power plant of CPGCL SEMCROP an LNG-based combined cycle power plant of Reliance Group of India. The Bangladesh Economic Zone Act and High Tech Park Act of 2010 led to the creation of two semi-autonomous agencies, Bangladesh Economic Zone Authority, BISA, and the Bangladesh High Tech Park Authority, BHTPA. With overlapping mandates, these two authorities have been tasked with overseeing the expansion of special economic zones and high-tech parks, respectively. They operate under different regulations from that of BEBSA and promote production that is aimed both at domestic and foreign markets. BISA has been tasked with overseeing the establishment of 100 economic zones by 2025. Honourable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is also stressing on the need for bringing more important projects under the watch of the Fast Track Monitoring Committee, alongside the existing 10 Fast Track projects. 
According to the fact sheet of the Fast Track projects, some 85.5% construction works of the main Padma Bridge has been completed so far, while the overall progress of the works is 76.5%. The 10 Fast Track projects are Construction of Padma Multipurpose Bridge Project Rupur Nuclear Power Plant Project Moitri Super Thermal Power Project at Rampal, Moheshkali, Matarbari Integrated Infrastructure Development Project Dhaka Mass Transit Development Project under jurisdiction of Line 1, 5 and 6 Construction of LNG Terminal and Gas Pipeline Project Deep Seaport Construction Project Baira Deep Seaport Project Padma Bridge Railway Link Project and Duhazari Cox's Bazar Gundum Railway Line Project 2. On the first anniversary of independence, Bongabundu said, We will turn this war ravaged country into a golden one. In the Bengal of future, mothers will smile and children will play. It will be a society free of exploitation. We can surely rebuild the country through hard work. Let us work together so that the golden Bengal shines again. Today, Bangladeshis are starting to see his vision become a reality.